Hey everyone, and welcome to The Witcher 1, a uh, lore through part 8. Um, we, we have convinced the Reverend to let us bury the body by just doing what we already were gonna do, but I'm only gonna let him bury the body because I am 99% sure that if I turn in all the other quests that I can't sleep with my lovely lady. And we can't have that, so uh, we're not gonna tell him this. We're not gonna tell him that. Um... I don't know. No, I think we did have to say that, did we? Yeah, we did have to say that. Uh, but not this one. Okay. I hear the Church of the Eternal Fire has offered a reward for drowners. As long as you can prove you killed some. Also, have you ever noticed how you, I can't move my I can't move my mouse there now? But have you noticed that top half of his face is way darker than where his beards and mustache sort of begins? I have drowner heads. My reward here. May the eternal fire illuminate your path. Okay, now now I'm going to tell you about the fire. Thank you for the money, though. Speak quickly. Well... I carried the eternal fire to all the chapels. The beasts still haunt us! I told you it wouldn't work. Where's my payment? Ah, yes, your payment. The curse must be stronger than I thought. Doubtless caused by that witch, Abigail. An evil woman. It's always A the women, man. Maybe she can tell us more. She brought the beast and all other calamities upon us. Perhaps, but I'd rather speak with her first. We must know from whence the beast came. Learn the truth. I will, for <laughs> 300 orans. Our community's poor. Perhaps 200? So be it. Oh, Geralt's so easy these days, man. Yeah, I think I can do the thing now. Speak quickly. Uh, no, still not. I'd like to bury a man in the crypt beneath the church. You ignited the eternal fire. I'm grateful. So it's a deal? Inside the crypt lies a crumbling sarcophagus. Crumbling? Rather dig a ditch? I'll take the sarcophagus. He just doesn't care, you know? Literally just in the cellar as well. Have I already stolen all your shit? Oh, I have. Did I do that immediately? I am good at stealing things. What the hell? Well, bye then. Have a, have a good night rest. Actually, no. I should sleep and then go to my lady. What am I doing? This is the perfect opportunity to go to my lady who is like just behind- Oh no, of course not, because first dogs. Hello, dog. Oh, for goodness sakes, I just want to sleep with the woman! I mean, the lengths I go through, just, she better appreciate this. Are you all gone? Thank you. The militia does nothing. It's all up to Geralt, who also doesn't know how to walk normally, clearly. Hello again, my friend. I must use your house. Spe I will speak quickly. In fact, I won't speak at all. I'm just gonna sleep. Now, if you interrupt me, then I'll definitely get mad, but you're not allowed to get mad. I think it's... It's not 12. I think I have some time here. To scoot myself behind the mill. Did I already get alcohol? I definitely already got alcohol. As long as it's not, it's not terrible alcohol, is it? No, it's fine. Get ourselves some alcohol. Now then, it's not entirely night yet. So I can't quite use my... Amazing witchery, speedy, runny thingies. How far away is that? Oh, you're running the wrong way as well, Jinzy. Good job! Okay, I'll cut this out a bit so you can uh, not watch me run. And I'll see you at the mill, where I will find my lady love. Right, we are at the mill with my lady love. Hello, my lady. Finally! I feared you'd never arrive. This place makes my flesh crawl. Did you bring the wine as I asked? I brought several! I did not forget. Here, have a beautiful Toussaint. Oh, thank you. I feel much braver now. You look like a ghost. Will you show me the mill? <laughs> of course. Whatever you like. Ladies first. Perhaps I shouldn't. What if my new frock gets dirty? Don't worry. We witchers have solutions for that. See, I can't tell if that's a pun on cleaning, but I don't think it is. Watch where you step, idiot. Yeah, man, let me be drunk on the floor for goodness sakes.
What is it? Something haunts the old mill again. Hmm, seems so. Maybe we need a witcher to look into it. Ah, oh, they're it. never around when you need them. They'll have to wait. Any monster here today will stay until tomorrow. Certainly no sense in sending anyone else. Plus, we'll be gone by day, so no worries. She is quite loud. Let's be real here, she is quite loud. Thank you for the card. Oh, this is gonna get me demonetized, isn't it? Even upon review. Upon review, we have noticed a pair of tits in your video. This is unacceptable. She just disappeared as well. Just poof. Right, I'm gonna go back to the... Actually, am I gonna go back to the guy already? I think I am. I'm pretty sure I am. Oh no, wait! I also have to not just go there, I have to go to so so many places. Okay, I'm gonna- wow, I ruined it. Thank you. I'm gonna go to the next place, probably still the crypt, and then on to Louvarden. But I'll cut that again so you don't have to watch me run. Right, and here we are. One Vargas dead, and one chapel to be had. So you're not allowed to enter this place at all otherwise. So I'm pretty sure I haven't robbed it yet. Why is there just wine on the altar? No, I'm not wasting a slot on that. Are you kidding me? It's not even good wine. Just a regular Beauclair. See, the thing is, there's literally skeletons on the wall and it just doesn't seem very, very crypt-like. Well, I mean, it seems Halloween crypt-like, but not like, oh, the eternal fire watches over us. Like, you know what I mean? It's not. It's not that. Here, have a skull, but nothing else. Oh no, monsters. Remember me. I do. You chased me, you and your ghastly hunting party. I do still, though chase isn't the word. Why is that? My task is to see destiny fulfilled. Say I believe you. Will you tell me my destiny? Destiny is a double-edged sword. You are one edge, the other is... No, 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 wait, where's Siri? Like, these don't make any sense, because obviously, The Sword of Destiny is one of the books of the Witcher uh, series, so we already know what it is. But... Death. I'll follow you, waiting for mistakes. That's not all. There is death, but there's also free will. I'll find Salamandra and fulfill my own destiny. I'll be waiting, Wolf. Andrian Var, Sauv Leotovle. You mock destiny. You mock it and trifle with it. Destiny is a double-edged sword. You are one edge, and the other is death? No. It's we who die, because of you. Shut up, Leo. Unable to catch you, death contents itself with us. Death stalks you, following in your footsteps, White Wolf. But others die because of you. See, Leo is just wrong on so many levels here. It's unreal. Because he didn't die because of me. He died because people wanted to care more hen secrets, right? Nothing to do with me. I didn't do that. And then he died because he sucked at being a witcher. It's not my fault. I know that it's the wild hunt doing it, but still, like... I mean, Geralt is internally rolling his eyes, clearly. Uh, but yeah, that was supposed to be uh, the, um... The wild hunt, the king of the wild hunt, so it was supposed to be Aerodin. I know, and you're all like, what? That's not what Aerodin looks like! But... In the books, and it's still, it's still a bit of a stretch, but okay. In the books, the wild hunt doesn't necessarily come to our world, our world as they are, as you see them in The Witcher 3, they come to this place as wraiths and they scare the hell out of everyone and they're basically like a phenomenon that happens every... every Sauvin. When the magic is strong, they cat catapult themselves across the sky and they steal people. They steal young people to work for them as slaves in the uh, NL worlds. Yes, they have human slaves in the NL world and uh, since time also flows differently in the NL world, sometimes those 
taken as children are returned to this world only to find that everyone around them is already long, long, long dead. You know, when they're just a regular person with regular age. Which is really sad, technically speaking. But yeah, they look like this. Kind of, I guess? They're not necessarily uh, described as floating. Because I don't, I don't know if you could see that. Could you see that? This guy didn't have legs. He was just a floaty ghost, which seems a little bit over the top, maybe. But I, I guess there were also limitations in how they could portray it. Um, but they, they just looked like skeletal riders, basically. So their, their main element is fear, fear and surprise and etc. So, that is what he was. That is Eridan. Eridan in his ghost form. This ghost form kind of sucks. He's not scary, he just looks silly. And he follows you around a lot. My destiny, no doubt, it means like the same thing that Avalok said. Oh, it's destiny that Siri comes to us and then we'll open the gate and Siri will try time travel for us. But that's not gonna happen, obviously, because that didn't happen in the book. Oh no, I feel like I need to probably explain that more than I am right now. Okay, so in the books, um, Avalok meets Geralt for the first time, out of his own volition. Avalok decides that it is okay for Geralt to meet him. And uh, during that meeting, Avalok tells Geralt, you know, it's cool and all that you're trying to save Ciri, but um, I looked at the future and it's just not gonna happen. To which Geralt is like, aha, that's cool. I'm still gonna try and save her though. So as we all know, Ciri is saved in the end. So Avalok was full of it. But that doesn't mean that Aerodin still doesn't believe that these things are a thing. You know, Avalok probably told Aerodin at one point as well, hey, it's gonna be okay. It's destiny, yo. And then Aerodin was like, ah, that's cool. That means I don't really have to do anything because destiny will deliver Siri to me. No doubt he's still stuck in that thought process. He's like, ah, oh, Geralt, you silly, silly thing. Your destiny is to bring us Siri. But uh, we, that's not gonna happen, as we already know. Because But Aerodin's a bit dumb in the games. He's not that dumb in the books, he's a bit dumb in the games, gotta say. Anyway, let us go and find uh, first the witch and then the Varden, I think. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, that's a long, long run. Okay, uh, see you when I'm there. Never mind. Stop, uh, what are you? A witcher. We're militia, we keep the peace. I'll be going. We need to see you're not ill. I'm immune. Don't know what that means. We got a check. What's that? Eh, uh, chip. Well, keep. Well, you look foul, but healthy. Move along. Godspeed. I swear I already got this scene in this game playthrough. But maybe I'm wrong. Also, I'm exiting the village, so that makes it doubly weird. Anyway, see you at the at the hut, I guess. Right. Let's say hello to Abigail. What do you want? Well. There's this thing where the Reverend is a thing, and I'm gonna ask you about the beast first, because this is just harsh to open with, isn't it? I need to know where the beast came from. Why ask me? Aren't witches wise in the ways of magic? Yes, but this beast is beyond me. Although, I know someone else. Who would that be? The boy Alvin. He's a strong source and a diviner. What he knows we could not hope to imagine. However, if I were to give him a certain potion, won't it hurt him? No need to fret, he'll be fine. Bring me the petals of five white myrtle and your questions will be answered. Myrtle grows outside the village. If you lack knowledge of herbs, I have this book. It's yours, for a price. Don't I already have that? I'm pretty sure I do. Anyway, uh, this is like sort of a throwback to what they did to Siri in the books, where they called Triss to Kaer Morhen to check out Ciri because they worried about her because after drinking, I think it was White Swallow, she started prophesizing and rambling and all that. And um, that means that the, the, the White Swallow basically triggered Ciri's source abilities, that, that they just made her do that. And, uh, and then Triss gave her White Swallow to check it out herself, basically, which is what we're going to do here as well. Good for us, right? Good for us. What do you want? Well, I want to check out the book that you were talking about. That's one. Okay, I don't have that yet. I don't have that yet. I do have that yet. I don't have that yet. Why don't I have those yet? I collect books, you should know. Now I have a very full inventory. Wonderful! Ah, oh, shoot. And I, I actually think I need... What did I need again? I need dog tallow for something later, I'm pretty sure. 
And I always forget to bring that. Oh, you can have some of my bar guest skulls, by the way, because you pay well for those. And I only need one in the end. Thank you. Are those stupid books, though? Okay, now... What do you I think I already have the thing. Yes, I, I do indeed. I gathered the myrtle petals. Excellent. Now to prepare the potion. How is it made? Interested in witch's secrets, are you? The recipe is yours if you swear to take it to your grave. I swear. Draw close and listen. Blend two ounces of cadaverin with the myrtle petals. Speak your name backwards, turn about three times leftwards, spit into the fire and stir the potion again. Complicated. <laughs> I knew witch's magic would be beyond the mind of a man. Grant me a moment to finish the potion. See you later. We never see her uh, spitting in the fire or anything, or doing twirls and things like that. Which is just disappointing. Come Abigail. back later. I'm busy. But why? Why, Abigail? I think there's actually a campfire outside. I'm reasonably sure. Not entirely sure, but I'm reasonably sure. And why are there always go up always for our guests? Is it because I read a book about you? Does that make you nervous? Uh, no, that's Celandine. Pretty sure there was, though. Not that it matters, because we can just go to the inn, but... I am still so sure that there was, in fact, a campfire nearby. Doesn't matter. We're gonna go see Luvarden, because uh, we did the thing with the corpse. And that, that sounds way worse than it is. Ah, oh, crap. I'm wasting time. I think you're about to get eaten, but, you know, don't mind me. Also, I just realized that I... Didn't do any- did I do any of that? No, I didn't. I don't think I did any. I need to still find the Huntsman. Is that- See, I, I keep thinking about this Huntsman, because every chapter has a Huntsman. I'm pretty sure this one has a Huntsman. As well. I need to go and find him, of course. Hello, Zoltan. Just, just waving for a minute. Hello, Shani. Just waving at you. Now I need to go and sleep, I think, because I don't think Luvarden is here during the night. Nope. Nope, doesn't look like it. And the innkeeper also just left his post. Oh, you're in the middle. Of course you are. What can I do for you? So many things. I uh, know, not that though. Actually, speaking of, uh, Kalkstein, do you buy books? Because, oh, no, you don't. Does anyone. Oh, no, I think the guy outside maybe buys books. Where's the merchant guy? Is he, uh, is he still here? Nope. Unfortunate. Okay. Wait, where did the innkeeper go now? Did he disappear? Uh. Oh, you just teleported. That's cool. What can I? Sometimes I teleport behind yes. bars. For you, for. Hi, Shani. Guess that means we're sleeping together. <laughs> Uh, oh, I just pressed the thing and cost myself five florins. Ah, uh, hey, you wanna earn another five orins? I'm very tired. Got a room? Yeah. Like for real. You should not take my five orins when that happens. You really should not. I think a bit later, maybe a bit later, a bit later. I can't have my sword out and run. Lou Varden. Hi, Vesna. Hey, 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 wink, wink. What can I get you? I don't know, you want to go to the mill again? <laughs> do you buy books? No. No, you do not. You can have this cow's milk. I don't want it. You can't have my strawberry. I do want those. Uh, I think this is all crap. I don't think we are going to use that. I'm pretty sure we're not going to use that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're not going to use that. Or that. Uh, I will keep my chicken sandwich. Thank you very much. These are all crap. Also crap. Did I have any... Yeah, I need Mahakama mead, I think, for later. That's Zoltan's present. I'm just, I'm just planning ahead so much this time. Do you, uh, do, uh, my books, uh, perchance? Oh, you do. Oh, how lovely. Did I already buy all of his books? I have no idea. Let's find out. But first, buy my junk. I guess I haven't. Recent history. History of the world. 
Wow. Uh, I... Do I just want to buy everything just cause? Yeah, I do. I'm a completionist. I want all the things. Plus, I have a lot of cash now, so I can. I can read things. See? Kids, this is why you earn money, so you can read stuff. Shut up. Yes, that's how it works. Sure, we'll have that too. Although, I'm actually pretty sure that I need to craft the wife's tears in myself if I want it early. So I don't get drunk, because I don't think I actually... I don't think I get the recipe until inside of the city. Inside of the newest quarter as well, actually. Inside of the high-class quarter, so that's a while. Yeah, I think I'll just craft it myself at one point. Although I'm definitely gonna look up that recipe, because I do not remember what that recipe is. Thank you! Much obliged! Time to make more money for more books. Any news? Yes, now pay me. I buried your friend. Sad to end in some forgotten village. Is it? It was a decent burial. Was it? Then I can leave with a clear conscience. No. Forgetting something? Yes. Ah, uh, your 200 orders. Thank you. Much obliged. And got paid well. Is that what you think? Is that truly what you think, Geralt? Was that being paid well? Loading screens, man. Okay, so we need to finish because I'm pretty sure that if- Okay, if I do these two, which are- Uh, or not that one. Yeah, no, this one. These two. If I do these two, I'm pretty sure that's what triggers the next part of the fit of the game, basically. Hmm. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that there is still a huntsman here somewhere, which I haven't found yet, which- Let's go here. Maybe it's there. Because I always forget where this guy is, which maybe makes him feel unloved, but I can't help that. I have no sense of direction. I'll see you when I get there. Okay, so this is not where he is, but I did find a cave which I'm pretty sure actually has um, one of the monsters that I need to kill. So we're just gonna go inside the cave and get the thing that I need to- Oh, I'm gonna take this. Just in case. Just, just in case, you know? Did I take all your stuff? Yes, I did. Hello, rats. Don't mind me. I'm hunting rabbits. Oh, how useful a fireplace. Uh, isn't this also where I- actually, I shouldn't say that, that might be spoilers. Yes, yeah, some mushrooms, delicious. It is not here, then that is- that means that this is that cave that- I will not tell you what that is, because that is definitely spoilers, but it is that cave. That means that it was the cave that I was in with- I think that was where I was finding Luvarden, or was that the other cave as well? Was that maybe the cave that I- I'm talking a lot of nonsense now because I'm trying to remember certain parts of the game that I know I want to complete before I leave, but you'll see when we get there what I mean. So just- I'll just- I'll shut up. I'm gonna start walking again, so I'll cut that out. Right, so I've actually found the guy. Hello, guy. Greetings, Witcher. I'm the local hunter. Greetings. Wonder how I know you? No. No? So be it. What do you want? I'm looking for Witch- Oh yeah, he actually gets paid so much more and gets- It gets Geralt really annoyed. How much do you collect for a drowner? It's my professional secret. Come on, we're in the same profession. It seems so. So, how much for a drowner? Depends, but on average, 80 orins. I've never come close to that. I knew something was wrong with those prices. Calm down. Progress wherever you look. Only witchers, the relics they are, still work for a pittance, while being called freaks by those they do favors for. A fair day's wage for a fair day's work. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing. And this is actually why I am so sure that all the trophies I hand him, he resells for more profit. I'm looking for witcher's work. Since you're here, a monster supposedly haunts the lake shore, devouring peasants late getting home. A ghoul may have made its lair in the crypt. How much for each? You witchers do nothing disinterestedly. Kill a monster, bring me proof, and I'll reward you generously. See, if you do all of these, you get a reward in the end, so I want to do all of them. Uh, these are fine. Uh, this is- I'm pretty sure this is where I found 
the the dead woman where I went to clear the crypt for a mickle and then uh, they're behind the rubble. I'm pretty sure it's that. Did so. the peasants say anything more about the lakeshore monster? Just that it hunts by the lake at night and kills people. It's they a care. giant drowner. It is. It's a giant drowner. Which means we're gonna go there at night. And uh, no, bit before that probably, because I have to walk. And I'm gonna walk there again, so that means more cutting out. Although at this point, I think we'll just make a cut. And when when we get back here, when we when we meet again, we'll be at the lake shore. See you then. Is this where you're hiding? It is. Okay, we'll come out then. Ozrel, who just looks like a regular ghoul. I don't know why he gets to have a name and no one else does. 